All right, so today we're going to look at three variable systems of equations. When you add an extra variable, you also have to add an extra equation, so you have enough information to be able to solve this. So specifically, I'm going to look at using substitution. I'm going to start here on the 3-4 skills practice worksheet that I'm using for notes, but honestly, there's not enough room here on this page to do all this work, so I'm going to put it on a separate sheet of paper. So the first equation here, 2a plus c minus 10, b minus c equals 15, a minus 2b plus c equals negative 5. Now, I could pick many different letters to solve for, and they would all probably work out just fine. I personally am going to choose to solve for the b right there in that equation. When I do that, I get b equals c plus 15. I'm then going to take this equation, and I would, so I would substitute it in for the b's in both of my other two equations. Good news about the top equation here, there's not a b to substitute this in, so that equation's already ready to go. The bottom equation, when I substitute this for the b, I get a minus 2 times c plus 15 plus c equals a negative 5. When I simplify this, the first thing I'm going to do is distribute. a minus 2c minus 30 plus c equals negative 5. Again, moving a couple things around. A minus C equals, when I add the 30 to the other side, 25. Now looking at what I have, I have this equation, which just has an A and a C, and I have this equation, which just has an A and a C. I can use those two equations together to solve for both A and C. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to get A by itself. You could use elimination if you would like to, but I'm focusing on substitution. A equals C plus 25. When I plug this in for the A right here, I get 2 times C plus 25 plus C equals a negative 10. And that gives me 2C plus 50 plus C equals a negative 10. 3c equals a negative 60, c equals a negative 20. As soon as you find one letter, you just reverse substitute to find the rest of them. Now that I know c is negative 20, I can plug it into this equation to figure out a. a equals negative 20 plus 25, so a equals a negative 5, not a negative 5, positive 5. And then I could also plug this C in up here to figure out what B is. B equals negative 20 plus 15. B equals a negative 5. I knew one of them was negative 5. So your solution for this one, you could write as an ordered triple. We would just do it A comma B comma C. Looking at question number two on the same page, same thing. This one's kind of a little bit more complicated, but not too much. Again, I'm going to pick one letter to solve for in one of my equations, and it doesn't matter which one I start with. So looking at this, these two equations are already just involving x and z. So in this case, it would be easiest to go ahead and solve for one of these. I'm going to actually solve for this x right here. When I do that, I'm going to add x to this side, and I'm going to add the 5 over here. So x equals this. Again, I could substitute this into both of my equations, and normally you would, but this one's kind of a special case that only involves uh, that third variable in one of our equations. So the easiest thing to do is to just solve it, just substitute it into this equation. When I do that, I'm going to have 13 times what x is thirteen times the negative five. Busting out the handy calculator even though I shouldn't, 65, negative 65 plus z plus 65 plus the 2z equals 2. 
when I simplify some things here, negative 65z plus 2z is a negative 63z. When I subtract the 65 to the other side, that's a negative 63. So z equals negative 1. Again, once I know one variable, it's a lot easier to start finding your other ones. The first thing I'm going to do here is plug this in right here to figure out what x is. x equals negative 5 times z. This is a positive one. Why'd you let me do that? Negative 5 times 1 is a negative 5 plus 5. x is going to equal 0. x is 0. z is a positive 1. I can plug both of these into our top equation to solve for our third variable, y. x plus y plus z equals 3. So y equals 2. Again, if I was going to write this as an ordered triple, x, y, z. I'm going to skip question 3. Question 3 already has z solved for itself. z is equal to 1. If you just plug that 1 into your top equation, you now just have a system in two variables, and you can solve that to find both x and y. Skipping to question 4. Question four is the first time that we have all three equations having all three variables. It doesn't matter which variable you choose to solve for. It's completely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and solve for, I think, this top one. Let's solve for x right here. When I get that x by itself, that gives me x equals negative 4y plus z plus y. I'm going to substitute what x is in for both of my other x's. When I plug this into my first equation, 3 times negative 4y plus z plus 1 minus y plus 8z equals 0. So just a little bit of basic algebra here. Negative 12y plus 3z plus 3 minus y plus 8z equals 0. Combining like terms, negative 12y minus y is a negative 13y. 3z plus an 8z is going to be an 11z. The 3, I'm going to move to the other side just because it looks more natural. I now have this equation that just has two variables. Whenever I plug this into my second equation, so that's plugging x into here, when I plug x into here, something kind of interesting happens. So that's a negative 4y plus z plus 1 plus 4y minus z equals 10. What happens when you do a negative 4y plus 4y? Those cancel. z minus z also cancels. That gives me 1 equals 10. Is 1 ever equal to 10? No. This is going to be a no solution. The last problem we're going to solve comes from the 3-4 study guide, question number one. Again, three equations, all three variables. Doesn't matter which one we solve for, I would pick something kind of easy. Uh, I chose to start by solving for the z in this equation here. Part of the reason I chose that is because it would be a pretty simple move to just add the z over here. When I do that, I get z equals 2x plus 3y. Again, I'm going to take what z is, and I'm going to plug it in for both of my other z's. Starting with this first equation, x minus 2y minus 4 times 2x plus 3y equals 14. Again, when I do my algebra here, first thing I have to do is distribute that negative 4. x minus 2y minus 8x minus 12y equals 14. Combine your like terms. x minus 12y is a, no, x minus 8x is a negative 7x. Negative 12y and a negative 2y is a negative 14y equals 14. 
Now a little trick that we can do here. If you notice that all of these are divisible by a number, we can reduce this equation, kind of like whenever we had our equations in standard form. I could divide every single one of these by a negative 7, and that's going to clean this equation up quite a bit. That becomes x plus 2y equals negative 2. Looking at my second equation, when I plug this into here, 3x plus y minus 8 times 2x plus 3y equals 17. Distributing, again, the negative 8 first, 3x plus y minus 16x minus 24y equals 17. Combine your like terms, 3x minus 16x is a negative 13x, y minus 24y is a negative 23y equals 17. Now, I have two equations that just have two variables. I can use both of these equations together to solve for both x and y. Again, if I'm going to keep using substitution, getting x by itself here, negative 2y minus 2, plugging this in for my x right here, that's a negative 13 times negative 2y minus 2 minus 23y equals 17. Negative 13 times a negative 2 is a positive 26y plus 26 minus 23y equals 17. 26y minus 23y, 3y, subtracting the 26 to the other side. 17 minus 26 is a negative 9, y equals negative 3. Again, once you find one point, it's just a matter of like reverse substituting to find your others. So I can plug y back into this equation to find x. x equals negative 2 times negative 3 minus 2. 6 minus 2, x equals 4. I can take both x and y and plug it into the very original equation I'd had up here to figure out what z is. z equals 2 times x is 4, y is a negative 3, that's 8 minus 9, z equals 1, negative 1. Again, if I was going to write this answer as an ordered triple, that's going to be 4, comma, negative 3, comma, negative 1.